Well, good morning, everybody. I hope that you're awake. Ah! <laughs> because today we're starting on a new adventure, a nice scurry game. At least I hope it's scurry. We've been playing a lot of scurry, even though it's like November. I should have been doing this in October, but... Oh, look at this. We're going to watch a video before we get started, I guess. Uh, got my timer all started. It's 12.30. And I uh, hope you can't see my mouse. I'm going to move it just in case. But yes, today we're going to be playing Alan Wake. Which is uh, something um, that I've been wanting to do. It's been on my Steam library forever. Like months, man. But oh, it, it went on sale so long ago. And... I got it, and I got the sequel, and I just have not gotten the chance to play this yet. And I, I've had it installed. I wanted it to be completely blind uh, for when I actually filmed it, filmed it. So, yeah, looks pretty good. All, all that I know about this game is it's uh, based on, like, a Stephen King sort of horror uh, tale to the point where, like, Alan Wake is pretty much Stephen King himself. He's not, he isn't Stephen King, he's Alan Wake, but, you know, uh, based on films and books where Stephen likes to insert himself into it, to the point where Alan is a, is a writer looking for inspiration on, on horror novels and stuff like that, and pretty much goes to the equivalent of Stephen King's main for inspiration. So, anyway, we're gonna press any key to play. I like to press M, just because it's different. And, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start up a new game. I hope you guys are ready. Once again, gonna look at the clock. We wasted a minute of time. New game. Pfft. Normal. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse, for some urgent reason I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. You done goofed, Alan. Suddenly, his body was gone. Uh oh. Okay, so... I was in shock from the crash. Oh. I could hardly stand my feet. Whoa! Alright, that is, uh... <laughs> Give me a second, it's, uh, running a little strange. Okay, gonna, gonna hope that, that this is working, but... No. I know. I figured that I could. Most games can do that. That is some weird, weird sensitivity. Once we get out of the light, I'm sure it'll start working a little bit better. So we can sprint. Alright, that looks good to me. Ugh, we seem to have wound up in, hopefully not, Silent Hill. Which way do we go, guys? Oh, game's gonna point us to this way. Get to the lighthouse. 
Rain Cove Point Lighthouse. Well, whoa game, before you go and turn the camera for me, I want to see what's over here. Narrow Bridge? Is it just gone gone, or... Look, there's pick uppables. Someone left a thermos here! Okay, we can collect coffee as our uh, special pick-me-up Easter egg things. This is the sort of thing I was talking about with uh, with older games and their secrets uh, becoming diminished. Like That doesn't really expand on the game. It's picking up coffee. Oh, no. Oh, no! Whoa, 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 no, no, no. I'd rather not. You know, I like to think I'm a, I'm a pretty good writer. I I write little comics and mostly stuff that I did while I was in school. So I think I might be able to relate to Alan here. Also, my white friend's name is Tom, and there's a Tom character in this game. Uh, uh, okay. Dodge enemy attacks. Okay. So is it like a dodge roll? Oh boy. Uh. Oh, it's shift, not space. Don't be dumb. You can't stop me. Well done. Oh, I see. I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I've been working on. Uh, give me a sec. I really gotta adjust the mouse sensitivity here. Alright guys, I got it. Much better. Alright. So let's go on through here. Spooky opens on its own. Can we like get the camera centered behind us? I'm not digging it being way the heck over to his left. How does it feel to die by the hands of your own creation? I'd like to ask Dr. Frankenstein that question. Oh boy! Run, Alan! No, no, no! Don't slow down! We gotta keep going! This is pretty intense. We just got started. Okay, oh, oh, nope. Keep going! Just keep on trucking! I'm almost there, bro! Come on! Please! Ah, uh, that bridge isn't gonna hold, I know it! Come on! Yes! Yes, we made it! Woohoo! Clay? Okay, alright, getting inside. Oh no, Clay! Oh my god. I was trapped. There was no way out. Uh Come on. There's another door over here. Tom the poet. Huh. Looks like a big daddy. 
Oh god, that TV. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Oh god, another TV. Oh god, they're everywhere. Tom, help me! Tom, you're my white friend! Get me out! Ow! <gasps> oh! There! There we go! Follow the light. Yeah! Go to God, my children. Assassin's Creed. Oh! Yeah, man! Go! You are hurt. You should go into the light. You are only safe there. Oh, oh! Oh, I get it! Focus, yeah. Uh, go to the light. Do we recover- Oh! Cool! We recover life under the under the halos of the lights. Alright, I get it. Well done. Thank you. I have something important to tell you. Alright, what is it, God? It goes like this. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. Follow my light. Whoa. All right. This is interesting. The hitchhiker has been taken over by the dark presence. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. Ooh, God gave me a flashlight from heaven. Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. Oh no, you have limited batteries for your flashlight? There we go. You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. <laughs> Alright, God. I didn't think you were into that, but... Sure. Now you're there we go. Good. You've done well. Remember what I've taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. In the nightmare, a terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Achievement! Follow the light! Alright. Don't know if you can see that. Probably not. No. There we go. All right. Oh, I like that tap R to reload faster thing. It's not as intuitive as Gears of War, where you play a quick time mini game, but it's nice. So. Oh. Another one. Oh gosh, there's two of them! One down! No! Oh god. Oh, rub, rub. Whew! Alright. Ha <laughs> ha! 
That's what I'm talking about. We need some batteries, though. Because we're out. I wonder if Alan's parents named him Alan because his last name was Wake. Like, just to play a joke on him, as if to say, like, man, wouldn't it be funny if our friend had to sign his checks A. Wake? <laughs> a flare gun? Ooh. Okay, yeah, so here's the flare gun. I'll stick with the revolver. Just like I wouldn't be too sure about that. Come on, man, there's three of them. What am I supposed to do? Nope! Oh, float like a butterfly. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's what you're supposed to do. The power of Christ compels you! I like how they- Ugh! All look three like there's a hobo convention in down. They probably came from Hoboken! See what I did there? Cause that's a town? Hoboken? Huh? Ha! Hobos! A drop hazard? Never. Oh, look at that! He did drop. Because of the hazard. Ah! Ah! So punny. Alright, well, so far this isn't... Hey, look! There's my name! Oh no! My billboard! Uh, wait, I don't think I'm supposed to... Alright, let's run from that. Run, Alan, run! Oh! Run faster, Alan! Come on, so close! Uh... We just gotta get up those stairs! Come on! Sprint faster! Yes! Yes, we made it! Woo! Thing from Evil Dead. Alan, wake up. <gasps> Shh, baby, just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Right falls, I'm sure. Beautiful, though. I'm not a fan of the seaside, but what can you do? Mountains are pretty, though. Mountains are always nice. I get a feeling that the brightness is going to fall. Reminds me of a Kill Switch Engage song. Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. Alright. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. 
a city boy, moments before he got eaten by a bear. <laughs> All right. Hey, bro. Hi. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying that. I'm Pat May, by the way. Nice to meet you. Maine. Yeah, I'm Alan White. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could give an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be this way. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Huh. huh. What a nice guy. I thought Alan came off a little hard on him. Like, could have been a little nicer saying he was just on vacation. But what are we really here for? His wife said pretend we're on vacation. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Yeah? Hey, bestseller. That's my favorite writer. <laughs> Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got it. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great. Great. Just want to make sure you can relax and charge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. <laughs> you know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. I like these characters. They're all very organic, very real. Alan, we're here. Oh. Come on, let's get back to the car. All right. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan, wake. Oh, God! I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm... Glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. Alright, guys. Uh, that's all interesting uh, so far. Actually, I'm really excited to keep playing this. And uh, I hope you guys are excited to see more Alan Wake. I know I definitely am. I haven't gotten to say a whole lot because that was one intense opening, but we've gone on for a while now, and it's about time to cut off. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really hope you've enjoyed. I'm enjoying myself so far. really want to see more, and I uh, hope you'll stick around for whatever I decide to film after this. So until then, I will see you guys next time. So until then, that's been done, yeah. Well, 
Good morning, everybody. I hope that you're awake. Ah! <laughs> because today we're starting on a new adventure, a nice scurry game. At least I hope it's scurry. We've been playing a lot of scurry, even though it's like November. I should have been doing this in October, but... Oh, look at this. We're going to watch a video before we get started, I guess. I uh, got my timer all started. It's 12.30. And, uh, I hope you can't see my mouse. I'm gonna move it just in case. But yes, today we're going to be playing Alan Wake. Which is, uh, something, um, that I've been wanting to do. It's been on my Steam library forever, like, months, man. But, oh, it, it went on sale so long ago, and... I got it, and I got the sequel, and I just have not gotten the chance to play this yet. And I, I've had it installed, I wanted it to be completely blind uh, for when I actually filmed it, filmed it. So, yeah, looks pretty good. All, all that I know about this game is it's uh, based on like a Stephen King sort of horror uh, tale, to the point where like Alan Wake is pretty much Stephen King himself. He's not, he isn't Stephen King, he's Alan Wake, but, you know, based on films and books where Stephen likes to insert himself into it, to the point where Alan is a, is a writer looking for inspiration on, on horror novels and stuff like that, and pretty much goes to the equivalent of Stephen King's main for inspiration. So, anyway, we're going to press any key to play. I like to press M, just because it's different. You done goofed, Alan. Suddenly, his body was gone. Uh-oh. Okay, so... I was in shock from the crash. Oh. I could hardly stand my feet. Whoa! Alright, that is, uh... <laughs> Give me a second. It's, uh, running a little strange. Okay, gonna gonna hope that that this is working, but no. I know. I figured that I could. Most games can do that. That is some weird. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late. Desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse, for some urgent reason I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail, and I would never see Alice again. And, uh, we're gonna go ahead and start up a new game. I hope you guys are ready. Once again, gonna look at the clock. We wasted a minute of time. New game. <laughs> Normal. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. 